right so are you done chopping up are you done chopping up the um are you done chopping up the lettuce yes that's it what do you mean is that it that's your chopped up lettuce oh my gosh you guys what it's not mean? even like straight little chops or nothing it doesn't look like rachel ray little chopped this is his you guys this is his lettuce for tacos look at the big chunks this is what i'm working with is it big chunks oh my gosh no is it chunks? this is not a salad we're having tacos they're supposed to be minced they're minced they're not minced all i gotta do is grab a piece of food they're not minced Tell him that he has to mince lettuce when you are having tacos. You're not supposed to have lettuce the size of a salad. Ay, ay, ay. All right. There you go. So the right. taco meat is ready to go, which means dinner is pretty much almost ready. First of all, they're in square. There. They should have been in rectangles, but whatever. I'll accept it. Daddy. How about I put them in the hexagon? Here, and, you, and I'd like you to put them in a separate. Nope. Oh, we're right in there. Oh, please. Here. Nope. Right in there. Nope. Right in there. Mm -hmm. It is kind of small. It's cute. I guess nobody else, nobody's going to eat lettuce. No, nobody who likes lettuce. Except for you and me. And it's half iron. All right. All right, guys. So that was that. All right. For those of you who know, I cannot start cooking or choose not to start cooking until I have a nice um, filled quarter glass of wine. So we're going to do that before we get started because there's nothing better than cooking while you have a little wine to enjoy the festivities with. All right, so like I mentioned that I'm just going to go ahead and start prepping the, the ground beef. and. I actually like to put a hint, I'm just going to grab it from the fridge, I like to put a hint of lime juice, um, I should have already opened this, um, but anyway, I like to put a, a hint of lime juice in my, in my meat that I'm seasoning, only because I feel like it gives it a nice zest and a nice fresh flavor. I do it in pretty much, I add it in pretty much all uses of meat when I'm um, prepping and cooking meat, it's just a nice clean, fresh flavor, and it just helps overall with um, the taste. So we're gonna grab just a small bowl, and I'm gonna pour that in so that I don't put too much, and then I'm just gonna put a little bit over the meat, just to give it a nice zesty flavor. Okay, then I automatically will add my Saison Goya, okay, that always goes in first. I put that even before my salt, and I'm very generous with it. Of course, hands are washed and all that, because obviously you guys know when you're cooking ground beef, you have to make sure that you get, get it good and get it seasoned and flavored very well. Um, so I'm just adding a generous amount of Sazo Goya, which is really my main ingredient when I am making tacos. Accent. Um, accent is a seasoning that you don't want to use too um, much of, but it's very flavorful. I just know that it's not that good for you if you use it too much and you and you use it and you add too much and use it all the time. So you definitely don't want to add too much accent. You don't want to use it in everything that you're cooking because it's not necessarily. I think it's MSG and it's not necessarily good for you or it's associated with MSG or something like that. I don't know, you tell me. Um, so I'm just gonna grab the salt and I'm gonna grab a little bit of pepper and um, and that will pretty much be, can you grab the pepper from me? Yeah, are, we are we out? I think we're oh, out. Yeah, we're All right. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of salt and that's it. 
because we definitely don't want to over salt the meat. And when you are cooking, now I know people, I don't know if they do this with spaghetti, who don't mash the ground beef, and I'm not really sure why they do that, but you definitely don't want to do that. Before I put this in the pan, which is already heating on the stove, I'm going to cut up and dice up my, um, my um, peppers, my onions, and um, anything else that I want to put in there um, so that I can make sure that it's really minced in the meat very well before it goes on the stove. So that's what we're doing right now. All right. I'm just going to wash my hands because obviously they've been in the meat. I probably should have... I probably should have diced up the meat first. So I'm just going to sit this aside. And then we're going to focus on cutting up the peppers and cutting, or I should say, dicing these down really tiny and getting them in the meat. So there's some people who will cook their ground beef first and then throw that in after. I like for everything to cook together because I feel like you get a really good flavor. I can't find my cutting knife, like my smaller knife, so I'm just gonna use this larger knife, but typically you're gonna wanna use um, a small cutting knife. I put all of my um, peppers and everything that I cut up I just cut it up in a small bowl and then I will throw everything in the meat and then we'll fry everything together. All right, so we're just gonna chop it. Don't need it to be, we don't need it minced. We just need it chopped. I actually have a chopper or I had a chopper, um, but I can't find the lid to it. I think that's gone forever. So we're just gonna do it old school style and get this cut down, okay? After I cut um, my spices, I will throw it in the ground beef, and then I will throw it into the pan. Um, and it's just tacos, you guys. It's nothing special. You're probably wondering why, I don't know if you can see why this meat is out, but we are having steak tomorrow night for dinner. So of course I am just pre-seasoning and we're letting that set. I'm also going to season um, the sausages tomorrow, so we're going to grill. We try to grill like every Sunday. We try to have a little bit of a cookout, um, or at least we that's a new thing that we're trying to do. So we're going to do that a little bit, and then um, and so that's why I'm pre-seasoning the meat for that. Okay, so back to this. So again, I am just cutting, 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 and... Again, you don't want to mince them. You don't want them to be too small. Although I do tend to, when I get to the onions, I do tend to dice those down really small because my husband is not a big fan of um, onions unless they're cooked really well. So I try to get them really tiny so that when I do cook them, um, then he will eat them and he likes them like that. All right. So. I'll be right back. I'm going to continue working on that. And then once everything is chopped up, I will be back. And then we will go ahead and get started on the ground beef. In the meantime, you need to watch. Okay, guys. Hey. So I am going to um, pretty much just sear the pan. When you're cooking tacos, you really don't need to put a lot of oil because obviously the oil from the fat will make its own oil. But I just try to put just enough so that I can coat the pan um, and then and then I let the, the ground beef do most of the work, right? You don't want to over, um, over oil your pan. You don't want it to be too greasy because it's going to have its own. But I like to use um, extra virgin olive oil um, when I'm cooking, so that's what I'm doing. So if you take a look at the ground beef, I've already put all of the spices in it. I'm just gonna chop up some onions and um, actually I'm gonna sear the onions in the pan um, because I like the way that it takes up the flavor of the oil and then I'll put everything else in here. And that's pretty much it. And then I will um, we'll be done with the prep and then we'll, we'll get ready to um, put the taco seasoning, let it cook, put the taco seasoning and you guys know how it goes, it's just tacos. Ah! Wow. 
Yeah. Can I have some all ice cream? Later, yeah. after dinner. Ow. No! Alright. So, right now out. I am just staring. I don't need to watch TV. I am just getting the onions done. Um, cook. I don't put a lot of onions because my husband doesn't like a lot of onions, so. Now we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna go ahead and put the ground beef in the pan. Turn that up a little bit, and then we're going to go ahead turn that up a little bit more. 